Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in the beautiful region of Samshki Javacheti in the country of Georgia. And today we've driven about two and a half hours outside of Tbilisi. We are next to a gorgeous lake. We came here specifically to go to a restaurant where a family cooks on the lake amazing food. It's actually Armenian food in Georgia. We're gonna see the entire process of some of the dishes being made. Grilled meat is especially famous, but they might have some other dishes as well. It's gonna be a huge Armenian Georgian feast. And I cannot wait to share this entire experience with you and all of the amazing food. So welcome, we have just arrived. It was about a three hour drive from the center of Tbilisi, but the drive was spectacular through the mountains, meadows, flowers are blooming. We passed by lakes, truly spectacular. And we've just arrived to, um, we're gonna be meeting up with Samuel and his family who run a restaurant and they're famous for their food. We're hanging out with my friend Christo from Culinary Backstreets who's arranged this entire trip today and it's gonna be an amazing day of food. Ah, uh, we're just getting started now. This is the spot. My mother. Oh, okay. She's a cooker. Oh, very good. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it smells good already as soon as you step inside of here. I mean, the elevation is somewhere above 2,000 meters here, which is pretty high in elevation, and so it's always cool. It is cold. I mean, this is the type of place you want to just warm yourself with food, but starting with a cup of coffee. Oh, it's great. Wonderful. So the plan is we are going to go around. We're going to do a little bit of sightseeing and get some of the views from this area. In the meantime, Samuel, who is the owner of this restaurant and his family, they are going to go to the lake and set up the equipment for an ultimate Armenian Georgian feast lakeside where they're going to cook right in front of us and then we'll be eating and I cannot wait to share with you this entire meal. But that's the plan. Yes. It's the Russian was. It's very strong and good car for going in mountains. Yes. Yeah, but not for going in asphalt. <laughs> this is the ultimate off-road van. Isn't it cool? Soviet onion. So cool, yeah. Make cannot sing under me. <laughs> Bare bones, just straight metal, metal and engine. Yes. <laughs> Fathers come here, they look a river here. Ah, okay. And in the river, many fishes. When you have and some food for life and some water for drink, it will be good life. Yes, for sure. Yes. In a beautiful location. <laughs> Chickens. Oh, this is the coolest van ever. <laughs> Great for off roading. Oh, that was a fun, a fun and adventurous ride. Oh, gonna have a sore butt. <laughs> so beautiful. This is literally a mountain, meadow, alpine paradise. Beautiful up here. Wow. In that part is Armenia. Okay. In that part is Turkey. And in this part is Georgia. So Three how far is Armenia from here? Uh, if you look right, this, it's 10 kilometer. After that mountain is Armenia. Armenia, look, okay. In that mountain. Most of the people in this area and the villages are ethnically Armenian. 360 views, the green mountains and lakes just surrounding. And then what is the, the church? Armenian little churches. We have uh, so many uh, churches like it. It's built at the top of this mountain as well. Church real fast. Wow. Uh, 
these rocks are many in this part. Uh, yeah. they, oh, no. they say there are nine. One, one in it's an altar? Yes, yes, yes. Altar. Rock is the beginning here? a little part of that rock. Oh. That ah. And you step in here and it's even colder because it's just holding that cool air with these stones and the rock. Absolutely magnificent. Apricots food, yes. from the mountains, Armenia. Oh, beautiful. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's the juiciest apricot you'll ever have. Wow, I'm dripping with apricot juice. Mm. Wow, that's incredible. Look at this slice of watermelon. And this amazing family who came up here right after we came here. They brought with them fruit and they're sharing. They're just so hospitable, so friendly. This might be the most beautiful location I've ever eaten watermelon. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, the apricots followed by the juiciest watermelon you'll ever have in your life. And the crispest. Oh. And it's just freezing cold because of the weather. I can say that's some of the best watermelon I've ever had in my life. What a moment I will never forget. An amazing family just rolls up to the mountain in the middle of kind of nowhere at the corner of Georgia, Turkey, and Armenia. Watermelon in hand. The sharing, the beauty, the deliciousness, the view. Mm. And I think after this, we are heading back down to the lake to start with lunch. <laughs> yes! Oh. Wow! Samuel! <laughs> Samuel. Samuel. Wow, what a place. <laughs> we just drove all the way down from the mountain. You can see where we were. That's where we were for the viewpoint at the top of that mountain up there. Oh, this is just spectacularly gorgeous. Yes, the fire is going. <laughs> Samuel. fire is raging. Oh, the barbecue over here and the full, a full stove here. Yes. Oh, and the kitchen in the back of the van. Yes. <laughs> oh, look at that bread. Whoa. Armenian lavash. Oh, nice. Whoa, it's huge. <laughs> like a towel sized piece of lavash. Okay, on the grill. Eggplants and tomatoes and onions and peppers and tomatoes. Oh, eggplant, yes. Oh, directly onto the grill. So all those vegetables just immediately go onto the smoky hot flame of the fire, just start to smoke. They're just gonna be embedded with that smoke from the fire, from the wood. Oh, they're hissing and puffing and juicing already. Oh, plus a whole fish. Oh. What type of meat is this? This one? Mm -hmm. Pork. Pork, chicken, fish. And all it, it's all marinated. And the interesting come. Um, oh, wow. What is that? These are uh, Armenian traditional blood. Oh, okay. Armenian dalma. Yeah, uh, But uh, this dolma. Uh, this, in, this dolma we make uh, in barbecues. Oh, okay. Goes directly onto the barbecue. 
haven't seen before, this Armenian dolma, which is going to be barbecued. It looks like it's wrapped in cabbage. It's raw. Ah. Cabbage inside meat. Cabbage inside meat. <laughs> Please. Oh. Yes, just handing them back straight onto the grill. That is beautiful. So much variety too. It looks like a trout. The fish has been filled with a blend of spices that he's rubbing on. Agadalik. Okay. For Samuel's beautiful family. Yes. For Samuel's beautiful family. <laughs> and this incredible, incredible day. An amazing family, yeah. Oh, man. And an incredibly beautiful place. And delicious food to come. She just tossed in a whole thing of pre-roasted eggplant. That goes in, there looks like some tomatoes in there. Oh man, I love eggplant. That's gonna be, it just looks like soft and just juicy. Oh, okay. Che chili, but it comes from this region, so you can't really say if it's Georgian or Armenian. You know, okay. like it's both. <laughs> All right, what are you going to make here? This is the so most uh, tasty barbecue oh, in the world. Man. Uh, what a move. <laughs> okay, and that goes again directly onto the grill. When Armenian and Georgian is not arguing who is better doing things. Definitely he is doing right now much better. Yeah. <laughs> Look at those arms. <laughs> Look at those arms. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, it's starting to bubble up and blister oh. and crispify. <laughs> <laughs> just keeps on coming. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Shishim kebab. Bab. What is this one? Uh, this one? Uh, uh, you know what's cutlet? This one. This one is mid. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cutlet. It's never ending barbecue. <laughs> this one is like a, a tennis racket sized cutlet. Wow, that's huge. The bread, the herbs, the cheese. Jan sauce emali from the sour plums. Okay. And this one is Armenian, Armenian sauce with the tomatoes and spices. Oh my god. Wow. Whoa. Can I have this? Mmm. My god. Okay, they've presented us with the platter of Armenian barbecue. 
Oh, this is amazing. It Samuel. Super, super. <laughs> the love, the hospitality, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> the food. Uh, Christo mentioned, you gotta open your taste buds with the herbs, the fresh herbs. That's gonna open your, your taste buds and build your hunger. I think it's flat leaf, flat leaf parsley, could it be? Oh man, the food, it's all coming at once. We gotta eat these herbs fast. The fish. Mm. Oh. The flat leaf parsley is delicious. Purple basil as well. Oh yeah. Strong, really refreshing, flavorful. Pasturma, cured meat. Mm. Salty, such a depth of flavor. Okay, I'm gonna try some of that eggplant while it's hot right out of the pan. Just steaming. And from what you told me, this is so popular in Armenia and so common that it is called barbecue, like barbecue eggplant. Mm. Mm. Oh wow, that is just so creamy and smoky and like double cooked, roasted so it has that smokiness and then fried again with the peppers in there. Amazing. Yeah. Samuel just said a toast for you, um, for the guests. Mm. That you decided to come here to Georgia, you know, world is so big, he mm. says, and somehow you decided to come here. So he appreciates this and he says thanks to the gods and wow. thanks to you that you came to this country. Wow, so thank you. you. Thank you, Samuel. Thank you, Christo. Wow. 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 Armenian Tolma, summer. Armenian Tolma. This one is the king of king of barbecue right here. Wow. Maybe here. <laughs> this one is the wrapped in the, the call fat. Our table is almost maximized capacity. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try this since it just came off the grill. Oh, oh tender. Has to be the king, the king of all meats. Mmm. Oh. Oh, I think it's. Oh, wait. It's the liver, I believe. Is it the liver? Oh. It is. Oh, wow. <laughs> I wanted you to figure out yourself, find out yourself. Even better than expected. Mmm. Crumbles and melts in your mouth. And then that fat, the call fat, just kind of holds it together. That increases the juiciness because as that grilled, that just like kind of absorbed into the liver. I'm gonna start on the big tray now. There must be like a dozen different items on that tray from the grill. But the thing I, I'm gonna try first is that dolma, which is totally different from any other dolma and different from the dolma that they served here on the other plate. But this is wrapped in cabbage. There's meat, there's rice inside, and then it was grilled. Mm. Yes, you have to eat. You gotta get him to do it like this. He went, he did the bidet. Yes. Samuel. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh, man. The ultimate delicious move. Oh, I love that. Those gestures he makes. Even though we don't speak the same language, we speak the same language for food. Oh, and, and just hospitality. Mmm. Oh, so good. So fresh tasting as well. So this is an Armenian sauce. Put this onto that last bite of the doma here. Mmm. 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 It's so refreshing. Tomato chili. Some spices in there. I'm gonna reach in for that pork chop next. Mm. Oh, the marinade, like the dry chili in there, saltiness, and then the, I mean, just the flavor of that high fire smoke, which is just embedded into the meat. And with the meat, it really goes well. Mm. 
say I love eating it with the chicken. Okay. Yeah, that's the vegetable. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Samuel. Я хочу выпить этот момент, когда у них мисло пришел приехать сюда. Я этот момент, когда они только yeah, сидели okay. и думали, давай поедем в Грузию. Okay. Хочу... okay, for that moment, a special that moment, when you took a decision, okay, let's go to the Georgia. He loves this moment and he wants to drink for that, that, moment. that particular oh. moment. Yeah. And again, says thanks to God for that moment. Wow. <laughs> this is his favorite toast actually, for ah. the moment when people take decision Whoa. to come here the and then for <laughs> the moment of here and he has he has the album of the of the photos oh, when he says okay. this toast and then he oh, makes the why, picture. Wow, okay. For us being together and for this beautiful moment. Wow. And it's the first time anybody has Sorry? dedicated a toast to the decision for coming to visit a country. And so this is truly a pleasure. <laughs> truly a, a pleasure. Wow. Try this cutlet, which is a giant burger made from a mix of pork and chicken with onions on top. Mm. Oh. Delicious, juicy and crumbly, and you can taste the marinade in there, some spices. It's really flavorful. Like a flavor of a kebab, just in a different shape, in a burger shape. Mm. Oh, that fish is beautiful. Oh, it does look like a type of trout. It has a bit of a pink inside. Mm. Squeeze on a little bit of lemon. Mm. There's a little bit of a, yeah, that spice paste and salt that he wiped in the inside. Fish is fresh. Almost has a, a salmon kind of taste to it, yeah. I think it is a trout. There's herbs. I think this one is tarragon. You can chase with herbs. Mm. Wonderful. Go for the chicken. Mm. Really smoky again. And then those Armenian spices for marinade and then just like caked on there with that smoke and that fire. Christo says it's really good with his sour plum sauce. I'm gonna scoop some of that onto the chicken. Mm. The sour plum, the coriander in there, the tartness. Then they have this huge plate of pickled vegetables as well. These little pickled chilies are what I'm after. Mm. Crispy, juicy, all that brininess comes out. Oh, it is a little bit spicy when you keep on chewing. And this massive tray of Armenian dolma. So it's rice mixed with minced meat, some spices. There's grape leaves, there's cabbage, there's tomato, eggplant, and peppers. Let me grab in for one of these wrapped in the, the cabbage with tomato sauce as well. Mm. Oh wow, that's awesomely good. Oh man, it's just so juicy. When I took the bite down, the tomato juice just like splurts out of it. Oh, thank you. Another and toast, yes. Yeah. It's Georgia, you know, yes. and with Armenian, Armenian men, so it's always It's toast. always a toast, <laughs> yes. yes. So for your beautiful family, this is the toast. Thank you. Thank you, Samuel. <laughs> so toasting is toasting very common. Is a, yeah, it's a very big culture of the toasting. Yes, the toasting. You toast. are like in a light situation, you know? Like Norway yes, yes. is like toast after toasting toast every... and the toast and the toast. You know? so, yes. Oh, what a culture, yeah. Mm. Mm. I mean, these amazing green onions. Mm. I'm gonna go in for one of these eggplants. Mm. Wow, Doma is absolutely incredible. I can play with that. Whoa, the salad was hiding. 
we have found it. The cucumbers, there's tomatoes in here, onions, the red leaf basil. Mm. I mean, the vegetables here are just so good. So refreshing, so crisp. And I just love how along with all the meats, that's such a balance, so many different vegetables and herbs. Mm. Well, these are some of the roasted peppers that they, they grilled over the fire. Mm. Mm. And some of that lavash. The Armenian, very thin bread. Oh, what a just incredible meal. This is the, the new standard of a barbecue. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh, one thing I forgot to try, that cheese. Wow, hard and salty, really good. And then what I saw is very common after a meal, or actually for a meal, is to just come here water's edge and just kind of lay and relax in the, the shrubs and the herbs. Oh, what a meal, what a family, what an experience, an Armenian food experience in Georgia. Oh man, it's just like a, a nest. You could just take a nap after that meal, that feast. Oh, Micah. Ah, let's take a nap after that meal. Are you sleeping already? <laughs> Micah. And so that's going to be it for this another amazing day in Georgia. And the family, they run a guest house. They have a restaurant. It's called Family Corner. It's completely family run. And you can just tell that it's completely out of passion. They love what they do. They love their hospitality, serving others, serving Armenian food, grilling, preparing food, and just being friendly and kind and just truly shines. I mean, I didn't know what to expect, but it was just what an incredible experience, delicious food, amazing people. Again, I want to say a huge thank you to Cristo from Culinary Backstreets. Also, again, a big shout out to Culinary Backstreets. They offer tours, food tours that focus on authentic food, as well as experiences, as well as connecting with people who love food. And they offer tours in 15 different cities around the world. I'll have their link in the description box below, but if you do use code, you can type in a code migrationology10 to get 10% off any of their tours. And thank you again to Culinary Backstreets for arranging this. We'll be traveling around Georgia, eating some delicious food, going to villages, cooking, eating. I can't wait to share with you more food, so stay tuned for lots more videos. And I'll have more videos in the description box that you can check out as well. But that's going to be it for this video today. I want to say a huge thank you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe for lots more food and travel videos. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Georgia. And I will see you on the next video.